Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part five of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, we're gonna be looking at how to set up an audio interface in Audacity to record uh, and playback whatever it is you're gonna be working on, whether that's a podcast or music or anything else. I'll also touch on onboard audio, show you how to set that up and explain the differences between the two. Now before we start, I'll clarify that you don't technically need an audio interface to record your audio. Your computer most likely has a built-in microphone port, uh, most likely have a built-in speaker port as well to connect your speakers to. So you could technically record through just a microphone plugged into there. But the problem is, with the onboard audio, it's very, very quiet and it's not normally great quality. And we, of course, want to be recording really high quality audio, or at least as high quality as we can. Now, with an audio interface like the one I have right here, my Focusrite interface, they have built in preamps. So you plug the, the microphone in, and it's going through a preamp which lifts, which boosts the signal to a reasonable level. Um, it's, it's sufficiently loud, it improves the quality. Uh, it avoids any kind of noisiness as well. So the audio quality is going to be much better and more professional. You've also got a lot more versatility. There's normally like a volume knob and things like that and, and an input and output knob so you can easily change the levels of your audio going in and out. Buying an audio interface is a little more expensive, um, as you may know if you already have yours. Um, there is a third option, USB microphone, which has those things built in. We're gonna go over that in the next part though, part six. But first, let's find out how to install your audio interface and get it working and set up in Audacity. The first step to getting your interface installed is to install the drivers. Now, depending on which interface you're using, the process is gonna be different. A lot of them these days will have downloadable drivers. You can just get them off the website. For example, my Focusrite interface, um, yeah, it's just going on the Focusrite website, finding the the product that you're using. Um, let's say if I, just as an example, 18i8, that's the one I use. And then it's got that, that USB driver that you're gonna need to get it working with your computer. And normally they have some kind of, um, some kind of control software that lets you control different features of the interface. Um, so you're going to download those, or if your interface comes with a CD, uh, you can just pop the CD in and install. And some cheaper interfaces don't even come with their own software. Some of them just use default ASIO drivers that you may already have installed on in your machine. So you just install the drivers, follow the instructions, and then give your machine a restart. This is quite important. A lot of software, for example, Audacity, it doesn't really matter too much if you restart afterwards. Um, but with with something like a, an audio interface, I do give it a restart. And just make sure you pay attention to the instructions that it gives you. Some of them ask you to in, um, plug in the interface at a certain point in the installation process. So you don't want to plug it in too early or, or too late. But again, it's just going to depend on the interface that you have. So once you've run the installers, you've got it all hooked up, you've restarted your machine, you've maybe got some headphones or speakers plugged in just to make sure it's all working correctly of your microphone if you've got one. When you reboot, you, uh, you should see a couple of changes. Firstly, well on PC anyway, it would be in a slightly different place on Mac, but firstly, you should be able to see your audio devices in your system and find your playback device. So I've got that Focusrite device there. Secondly, if the interface comes with its own software, you should find that software installed on your machine. Um, so for example, the the, the Focusrite interface has this Scarlet Mix control where I can make changes um, like the input gain and route things around because these days a lot of interfaces don't have the controls actually on the box itself. You have to go into the software and make changes. Now, if something's not right, if you're not seeing the interface, um, interface coming up yet after the install, then don't bother with Audacity yet. Get that right first because it's not going to work in Audacity if it's not installed correctly. You might need to try reinstallation or rebooting your audio interface, replugging it back in into a different port. You might need to contact the, the company for support. But just make sure that's all installed and looks to be working correctly before we go into Audacity. And then I do recommend setting your playback and input devices to, uh, to the interface. So 
I've got something else selected at the moment just because I'm recording the video, but normally I'll have all of my audio, not just when I'm making music, recording, but all of my system audio now goes through the audio interface. It just makes it easier that it's it's there set up. Um, you're going to get better quality audio out of it as well. And, and then just you know plug your headphones into the interface from now on instead of through your machine. So we've installed the interface, we've launched Audacity. Now we've got to set the device up in Audacity so that Audacity can uh, knows where it's taking audio from and knows where it's playing back to. So as we mentioned in the previous video, you've got the device toolbar here where you can make changes. You can also make changes if you go to Edit, Preferences, and then Devices. So you've got the Device toolbar, and you've got Edit, Preferences, Devices, where you can make changes. You've got a few extra options here, so I'll just leave this one open for now. And then you've got these four main sort of drop downs. You've got the Interface Host, I'll talk about that in a second. You've got the Playback Device, you've got the Recording Device, and you've got channels. You need to set all four of these correctly if you want to record and playback audio correctly. So first is the interface host. Now I've got this set at MME. All of these should work, okay? MME is the default and it's the most compatible with different interfaces. If you're on Windows, you can also have Windows Direct Sound and Wasapi as well. I use Windows Direct Sound it's, it just works better for me for recording um, and, and streaming and things like that. And Wasapi is the most recent, I believe. It's, it's potentially got the lowest latency, the lowest um, sort of delay between recording and playback. Um, so you can give that a go. But if you, if you do have any clicks and pops during playback or recording, it might be just a case that you can change this, switch it back to MME. Um, again, it's, it's probably going to give you the highest latency uh, depending on your interface, but it's the most compatible. But yeah, I'm going to leave mine on Windows Direct Sound because I've tested that and that's, that works for me. Playback device. You're going to want to find your interface in the list. So if you've got a PreSonus interface, for example, it should say PreSonus or the name of the, the model. I've got the, the Scarlett 18i8. So I'm going to select that. Then in your recording device, you're going to want to go for the same thing there. You're going to want to find your device again. There should be a line in rather than a line out for recording. Channels is how you're going to be recording, if you're going to be recording in mono or stereo. Now, if you're plugging a microphone into one of the inputs in your audio interface, that's mono. So you're only recording one signal. Stereo would be for if you're recording uh, say you, you've got two microphones um, connected into two inputs and you're doing a stereo recording of an acoustic guitar, for example, then you might want to record into stereo. But for now, we're going to leave that on mono. Don't worry about changing the latency options for now. And then we go. You'll see the changes have been made on, on the toolbar as well. And you can go ahead and hit record now, see if that works. So I've got a mic plugged in. If I hit record, and say some stuff, you can see that it's recording and that's all set up. And then if you put your, and then if you click just before the audio and hit play or space, that's um, that's the shortcut for play. You'll be using that a lot, I'm sure. If I hit record, and you can make sure it's stuff. playing back as well. You can also adjust the, the recording level. So if I record, if I bring that right down to zero and hit record, you probably won't see anything coming up. Yeah, there we go and then bring that up. Now, normally I just leave this at the top and adjust using the audio interface gain knob. And then again with playback, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. But we'll go into more detail about recording and recording options in the later parts of the course. But we've got everything set up with the interface. That's the main thing. It's very satisfying when you get it working. Now, if it doesn't work, again, try these, try these different options here. Um, also double check, you might find that you have multiple options, like say for example, you've got a, a Steinberg uh, audio interface, you might find in the line, it, in, in the recording uh, devices, you've got two instances of Steinberg. Just make sure that you're using the correct one. If you're not sure what the correct one is, the manual should help you. Um, or if there's something like loop back, um, or something like that, then that's probably not the right one. You just want the one that says line in 
uh, and then line out for playback. But again, feel free to leave a comment if it's not working, I'll see if I can help you. Um, if it's if it's the interface that's just not coming up or installing correctly to begin with, then that's something the interface manufacturer should be able to assist with. With your audio interface set up, you're ready to record, which is what we'll be going over soon. But first, in the next part, we're gonna be going over how to set up USB microphones in Audacity. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon below so you're notified when that's released. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below, which audio interface are you using with Audacity? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.